Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 3 with just the bow. Last time we defeated the dragon Midir, and this time we're taking care of some unfinished business. So we're in the Ariandel Chapel, and as you can see everything's on fire since we last defeated... Was it Frida? Was that her name? I now remember it. <laughs> I couldn't remember it in the other episode, but now I remember it. I think that's what it was. Anyways, we uh, also acquired an item a couple episodes back. Uh, from Slave Night Gale, the Blood of the Dark Soul, Pigment to Depict the Painted World. The Blood of the Dark Soul that seeks from the hole within Slave Night Gale uses a pigment by his lady in Ariandel to depict the Painted World. When Gale came upon the Pygmy Lords, he discovered that their blood had long ago dried and so consumed the Dark Soul. So we got that item, and I didn't really know what to do with it at first, but then uh, an idea struck me, and I thought, maybe the lady up here wants it if she's still here. She might not be. I haven't checked yet, so we'll go find out together. Also, I got to mention last time when I fought Midir, I did change to the Estus Ring instead of the um, Carthus Milk Ring, uh, just because I needed to have hold HP so I'd hopefully survive every attack, so I just figured instead of the 3 Dexterity, we'll do that. And look at that, A, give Blood of the Dark Soul. Let's just talk to her Ashenor, first. Thy gift of flame has taken root, and Uncle Gale will soon bring the pigment. Pigment. Colored like the dark soul of man. I believe that's what we have. Can we say anything else? I wonder if Uncle Gale has found it. The pigment colored like the dark soul of man. She's trying to make it really obvious what she wants. I wonder if it is. Alright, let's give it to her. I don't know what else to do with it. My thanks, Ashen One. With this, will I paint a world? Please tell me thy name. I will name this painting after thee. Oh, cool. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. I'll share my name. My thanks. I will paint a world of that name. It will be a cold, dark, and very gentle place. And one day, it will make someone go to your home. Sounds wonderful. I wonder when Uncle Gale intends his return. I hope the new painting will be to him a gentle home. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know the significance between sharing my name there, but I figure since I'm being all like gonna take the flame away anyways and stuff, it's like, meh, why not just go all out and just be as, what did uh, Shira called me? Oh, I can't believe I forgot what the words were, but she basically accused me of being greedy, I think can't quite remember off the top of my head. If it comes to me, yeah, Sister Frida, that's what it was. Not Frida, Frida. Okay, so we have more stuff to take care of that I uh, didn't exactly know where it was, but I knew I was trying to look for it because I'd heard rumors. So let's see if I can figure out where I'm supposed to be going here. Alright guys, here we are at the bonfire that I wanted to go to. I could not figure out which one it was. It's Osiris the Consumed King, and it was all the way back here at the first two. I didn't realize he'd be up here in the tier of the three, uh, like bosses I guess or whatever but it's like why is he back here because he's like way up here by the Lothric castle so anyways that's uh, why I was super confused and couldn't find his bonfire but now we're down here and we're gonna go see if we can find something that's a little bit hidden uh, that I totally missed the first time I came through here I, uh, I wanted to find it but I didn't actually even know it was here so this is uh, what we're gonna go do now I'm not sure how this is gonna go I've only heard Oh, there's another new item here. This is interesting. Oh, the Drake Blood equipment. Interesting. Was that always there and I just missed it? Or did it come there because I went somewhere else and did a thing? It might be because I defeated that one guy. Uh, the lightning armor, or the lightning sword guy in Arc Dragon Peak that keeps spawning because that one dude summons him. Anyways, uh, I didn't realize it, but if you pay close attention to this wall, it looks kind of suspicious. It's not like the same as all the rest of them. And that's because it's not a real wall, and I didn't know that. Anyways, uh, in here is supposed to be a place I've heard the name of. I won't say it till it shows us. Uh, but it looks kind of freaky. Not what I expected at all. Oh, well, untended graves. We're here. This is uh, one of the secret areas that I'd heard about, but I had never uh, figured out where it was or anything like that. So let's go ahead and rest here and just get restocked. I spent all my souls on arrows and 
uh, some things from patches, just buying all the things you can only buy a few of, uh, just to complete purchasing all the things, I like to gather all the stuff. I feel like I've definitely missed some things in the DLC, I've missed a lot of these hidden walls, and I feel like I've missed others, and I skipped a lot of crystal lizards and some enemies, so I feel pretty bad about that, and definitely want to go and rectify that situation, but not sure when I'll get around to it, hopefully soon. I might just beat the game first and then go deal with some of that stuff. Uh, but okay, we got one of these preacher guys and a whole bunch of these dudes. Thank, thank that I have the bow because uh, otherwise this would suck. Yeah, he didn't even wake them all up. That's good. All right, so we can just take this guy out too. He's gonna transform pretty quick. Uh, he didn't transform very quick though because he didn't even know where I was at first. Excellent. I think I'm firing long air or uh, large arrows right now. I guess you could call them long arrows too. They might be no, that'd be the same size. That doesn't make any sense. All right, let's get this last guy here, and then we should be pretty happy. Oh, he uh, he's a little bit further, so he took a bit of extra damage. Oh, switch up to the feather arrows now. Gotta have it fly fast and true. Take those guys out. Is anybody else here? I see something moving, but I feel like that's just no. It's Definitely a somebody. Can't quite tell. Nope, just uh, blowing in the wind, I think. Yep. Right? Yep. Okay, stop tripping me out. <laughs> Ashen Estus Ring. What does that do? Is that. Oh, I guess that's for the Ashen Estus Flask. That would make sense. So you can uh, get more mana out of it, more XP restored. Once a treasure brought before Lothric's queen, she had it enshrined in the cemetery of untended graves so that one day an unkindled might profit from its use. Hmm. Well, that's us, so I don't know if we'll profit from its use though, considering I haven't really used too many of the special abilities from the bows. I don't use anything else aside from them, but maybe one day. Alright, let's continue the adventure here. This place is very dark, very creepy. It looks just like, um, oh, that's like the, uh, uh, starting area. Yeah, in fact, hold on. Yeah, wait a minute. This is just like the starting area. You, you spawn like right here, and then I guess there's that ring there. Maybe it was supposed to benefit somebody, but it ended up being guarded by those things. And then you run down here, and yeah, that's where you go get your little soul. And this is where you come, this is where you get the Ash and Estes flask. Okay, okay. I hear something growling. Makes me not really want to grab this here soul of a crestfallen knight. Oh, I see uh, one of these guys in the distance. Oh, they're fast. Gotta use the feather arrows on these guys. Is it was you who was uh, making all these groany, groany noises? Yeah, I gotta roll extra on these guys, I think. Oh, he's, he's backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Oh, whoa. Get out of here, man. There we go. Two shots. Three shots. Because he just keeps backing up like a big wuss. Not that time. Oh, doesn't know what he wants to do. There we go. Headshot on that one. All right. Large Titan headshot. Right on. Yeah, I guess this is a long time ago area, so I might be a bit strong for this this place. I hear more of them breathing. Why are the enemies so much stronger here? Oh. I hear that sound. It's like a very... Oh, ah! It's the dogs. I didn't, uh, didn't expect doggos. I really didn't expect doggos. Holy crap. Alright, switch over. Oops, not that. Oops, not punching. No, 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 no. Please stop. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Doggos are kind of tough. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be doggos, though. I heard the growling, but... Oh, oh, holy, where'd you come from? Whoa, 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 whoa. I have no idea how I dodged that, but I'm very thankful that I did. Alright, let's go uh, back to the longbow here. Clip it and just launch off some shots. Bam. Alright. Uh, larger are you? I suppose I could. 
might be too slow, but as so long as they don't go for anything too crazy or they just charge at me, should be fine. There we go, 256, that's a bit better. Alright, come on, use the attack, thank you. Bam, and should be able to just load up an arrow here and just wait for it. Oh, nope. Oh, that was a lot of pain and some bleed. And now he's still coming at me. Unlike his friend, this guy doesn't give up. There we go. Got a large Titanite Shard. This definitely would have been a really hard area if I'd come here at the time that I fought Osiris. That would just be not a good one. Alright, one more doggo here. Thought I heard another one of those guys running up behind me, so I got a little antsy there. I still hear something like, is it just these doggos? Are they really what's making all this racket? Not making so much racket, doggos. I guess it is them. Yeah, that's a lot quieter. Hmm. Alright, well, let's look around. See if I can't find anything cool. Tight night chunk. Nothing over there. Oh, there's an item up there, though. I kind of want to check over here, but I feel like because this was such a dangerous area last time, it might be a boss fight. So, hear more growling or whatever. Let's go, uh, go over here and take this path. See if I can't lure out whatever's up here. I hear something. One of those guys? Is it a doggo? Something up above? What's over here? Oh, it is a doggo. Dang, doggo. Any more? No, just the one? That's not bad. Hey, Nate Chunk. Alright. Okay, let's go check this out and see if there's a, like, dark crystal lizard or something over here or some kind of other dragon. Who knows? It's kind of fun just going through the same kind of map as the start of the game. Alright, what's that? Are you serious? Is this actually like a... Oh, there's two of them. This will be interesting. I mean, I, I guess they might just be like regular glowing lizards. Or, yeah, crystal lizards. It seems that's the case. Turns out I can just lure them one at a time with the bow, though. Oh, don't eat me. I'm gonna do that. Bonus, uh, bites. Oh yeah, he is on the pursuit here. If he, uh, if he follows me this far. Oh, that's kind of awesome. Gotcha. Right, two tight knife scales from that one. Let's go take care of the other one. That's kind of cool that it's actually two of these guys and they kind of glow in the dark. I think that's really neat. Alright, let's go, uh, Hopefully it's just two of these guys, because there might actually be more enemies that I just don't know about. And boop. Might just be able to abuse this uh, overlay right here too. Oops. Glad that didn't actually hurt me though. It's kind of lucky. Sure, bud. You can go down there. I'm cool with that. Shoot you from up here. <laughs> he certainly made it easy. Damn, two more Titanite scales, another 15, or not, not 10,000 souls. Alright, let's just run out here and see if there's anything else. Oh, I guess there's like little, maybe like lights on them too to kind of amplify it, okay. So it's not totally glow in the dark, a little bit of lighting effect. And uh, tricks in play there, it seems. Which, cool effect though. I mean, I could be wrong, this could have been glowing and maybe I just saw the light when I got over there, I'm not sure. But I feel like that was kind of just a a cool lighting effect by the developers. So let's go up here. There might be more enemies, but I feel like this little path would probably be clear until about this spot, or something would be hanging off the ledge or something. Oh, Dark Spirit, daughter of Crystal Crimehild? No. Just a solid no on whatever it is. Oh, that spell. Oh, that's not too bad but not what I want. Get out of here, daughter of Crystal Crimehild. 
Is that like uh, Crystal Dragon, maybe? Well, I don't know what Kreimhild is. I'm guessing that's a, a German word or just the name of something. That's, again, that's a guess. I have no idea. Could be Mage as well. Daughter of Crystal Mage. Ooh. That actually hurt quite a bit. Give me your, your weapon. Oh, that's gonna be painful. Yep, yep. Oh, some of them are, are homing. That's kind of cool. I didn't actually realize it worked like that. Really glad I didn't get hit by that. You know what? Just throw another Estus on there. She did too. Whatever. Get out of here with that stuff. Yep, those actually do home in on you. That's very interesting. I think that's kind of cool and crazy. Ooh, she totally anticipated me and just wrecked my face there. Be kind of safe over here. Oh, I didn't think that would get me, dang it. I was trying to abuse the terrain there. Because if she can't uh, fire those giant spells over top of it, then I'm fine. Ooh, ooh. That's the thing, you can't uh, rely on these kind of mages from uh, uh, running out of their spells either. She doesn't seem like she's interested in running though. But Wow, did that really go between her legs? Um, she's had a Estus, so I think we got this one in the bag. Especially since she's just doing this whole bad guy walk thing. A lot of enemies doing this bad guy walk thing. Or bad guy slow walk. She doesn't even like roll out of the way, she just moves. Alright. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. 7,000 something souls. I'm guessing her weapon or equipment might be located somewhere. Unless that's just all you get, but I feel like you'd probably get more. Oh, hello. You're in a spot that you weren't before. Take you out. Uh, is that guy? Nope. <laughs> I thought this little patch of dirt was a guy too. I'm starting to get all paranoid now. Especially in the dark here. I'll take you out because I saw ya. Gotcha. Oh. Oh, no, he's just going to come right around. And we're just going to wait for him, and boop! Thanks, bud. Anybody else I can see from up here? No? Alright. This guy's still here. Oh, he has a crossbow now, though. He, he upgraded. <laughs> He's like, I'm done with this uh, getting wrecked 1v1 stuff. I'm just going to crossbow some guys. Just hit him right in the arm where he might kneel down. There we go. Got him. We can... Uh, Solid effort through here. Of course, there's going to be guys right here. They, they wouldn't, like, not put guys here. If these were nasty guys to begin with. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's I was going to say, there's probably a third guy. And it turns out he was actually um, this this guy's friend, the dude with the crossbow. It might have just been the same guy that just ditched his shield and found a friend. Maybe that was his plan. There's the corpse in a different location. Or the item, I suppose. There's a dude there. My guess would be there'd be two guys down there, but... Hmm? Nope. I guess there's probably only one. Right, let's explore over here first and make sure I... Oh, yep, there is another guy here. This might be one that was always here, though. Boop. Gotcha. Nice, solid 410 damage. Of course, this guy's... Oh, there's a spear guy here now. I wonder if, um... Hmm, I wonder if that other guy's still there too. Probably. Oh, come on, man. Like, don't make me... Oh, okay, now you're gonna... Now you're gonna play like a jerk. There you go, that's what you get for being a jerk. And that's what you also get for being a, a cheating jerk. Using Estus, come on, man. I hear steps, though. Someone's stomping around. Yep, someone's definitely stomping around. It's probably right about there, yep get shot in the face. There you go. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. Swing wildly. There you go. <laughs> gotcha. Alright, now there's going to be another crossbow guy right here. Yep. Ain't going to get me like that, man. Gotcha. No item down here, though. Well, there could be something. I can't discount it. No. Just uh, another crossbow guy to shoot at you. They wanted to get you with a trick. Nice of that guy to reveal his location, though. Gotcha. 
Oh, well, that was a headshot, even. I didn't even mean for that to be a headshot. Uh huh, and there is, in fact, a second guy. We just let his guard down. We gotta let his guard down again. Watch him for a second here. Nope, looks like he's going for the old. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't believe. Does he actually not have his shield up blocking like that? Like, is he considered to be. No, he's definitely got a shield up. Okay. Gonna go ahead and run over here and grab that treasure. I'm guessing there's gonna be a boss in Gundir's room. Type and blessing, nice. Oh! There was just this guy just staring off into space and I just didn't even see him. Wow. Ah, not down there anymore, that's what's up. Okay. Hop down here. This guy's spacing out again. I can space out for a lot longer. Ah, there is a second crossbow guy here. Tricky trick. Oh, and there's this guy even. Wow, they really amped up the amount of guys down in this little spot. Ooh, and they got some new moves. That was a deadly one. That hurt a lot. And he can throw daggers. Wow. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and S this up. I just ran out of arrows. Wow. That's feather arrows, too. That's not good. Alright, well, let's switch these to standard. And these to large. Wow, okay, I didn't expect that. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, well, no bonfires, so that's, uh, oh. Is that? Is that another gun deer? That appears to be another gun deer. Anything else in this arena I should worry about? Really? Can I just shoot him? No? Is he, he doesn't have a sword in him, though. I feel like he's just gonna wake up. Just gonna wake up. Take that and that. All right. So far, identical. Maybe a little bit faster and more aggressive. Ooh. Okay, that one kind of hurt. He is faster. I'll give him that. I gotta be a little bit more careful. He looks like he's a little bit thicker, actually. Like uh, he's got like a bigger chest. It feels like maybe thicker armor or more muscle. Oh, okay. I'm a little bit slow on my dodges. I gotta resume spamming the dodge button. Almost died right there. Okay, let's uh, remember this is scaled up now because it's later in the game. So I gotta take this guy a little bit more serious. I wonder what his phase 2 is gonna be if he doesn't have um, that corruption in him, though. Oh, got him with the large arrow there. Gotta be a lot more careful with my timings on attacks, I think. I can't just spam them. Okay, what's he doing? Oh! Oh, he's, uh, he's red-eyed now. He's got, like, some martial arts moves. Is this, like, a temporary boost that he can do, or is this, like, a permanent I now, oh! I now attack, like, insanity. Heal up over here and just see if we can get a shot in. Dodged it. Run away a little bit. Should be able to get. Nope, no damage there. Okay, that's not the way to dodge. Probably want to dodge more to his left. Because he's got, um. He's holding his weapon in the right hand, so it, there's a less chance, I think, of getting smacked. Oh, no, dodging to his left didn't work either. Okay, let's go ahead and just S this up. So he seems to be just relentlessly mad now. I don't think he's going to, uh slow up on his attacks a whole lot anytime soon. Seems like running might work for that one. <laughs> Looks like there's an item I missed over on the ledge there too, wave in the background. <laughs> Wonder if I can get to that from his arena here afterwards or something. We didn't do the shoulder slam after that time. Works out for me. Okay, when he goes for that charge, it seems like I can get a, uh, a shot in on him. Oh, not if he's gonna not launch me off the edge or something though. And dodge that, for sure heal up, because I don't want to die, I don't want to die. And dodge that. Okay, he might come for another charge here. Seems to be a big fan of using that charge on me. Yeah, that one. Oh, man. I think I have to just dodge right into him or something there. Or just time the dodge. I suppose it just time the dodge would work best. Oh, man. Vicious range. There we go. Oh, almost derped that one up. I get an attack here? Oh, no, that was bad too. And don't shoulder slam me, please. 
Ate that shoulder slam. There's one nasty attack. Alright, should be able to heal. There we go. Got some combos. Trying to get an attack in, but he just, he dodges. And he also comes at you with some nasty attacks. That was the one with the shoulder slam. Oh, that's a bad time to attack. Gonna go for a trade on that one. Four S's, three S's left. Just gotta keep evading and waiting for my opportunities. Some more of attrition, because he can hit me with a lot of attacks, but I can probably hit him with a lot of attacks too. Oh, shoot. I didn't think the range on that. I always forget the range on that one. It's just absolute insanity. That's a good attack to get some damage on. Oh no! Okay, that was almost certain doom right there. Probably gonna take- yep, definitely took damage on that one. I wanted to go for an attack there, but I really can't afford to. Oh, I couldn't afford the heal there either. Jeez, this is just absolutely brutal. I don't even think I can heal here, no, he's just so fast. And that attack's just brutal. Sorry, this music oh, I went to go for an attack there, and I always forget that that, that follow-up is just harsh. Alright, we'll go for a heal here. There we go, that's my last heal. Aside from using, like, a Divine Blessing or something. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely gonna die in this fight. There's no way I'm gonna survive this uh, mode that he's in right now. He's just, he's just too hardcore for me. I don't even know which attacks have combos. I need to figure out what the timing is on my moves, because otherwise he just keeps swinging at me. And he's got like such range, because he does big steps too, he doesn't just like swing his weapon, he steps with it. Yeah, I might just want to bust out the composite bow here actually. Using some uh, roll shots and stuff, and back step shots, that might be my best shot. I got hit with the, the poke there, because I went for a stupid one. Because I should mostly go for roll shots I think. Oh, I might get him with roll shots. Alright, so I'm just gonna wait for the opportunities when he's most vulnerable. Not now. Sorry, I'm focusing a little bit here. So much margin for error at this point. Holy, I was because I was crouched, I didn't get stabbed in the face. How lucky is that? Ah, I tried to press the dodge button, but it wasn't enough. It was not enough. Dodge here. Oh my gosh, this is so down to the wire, it's just, it's just harsh to be in this moment. Oh, dang it, that range on that swipe, if I just rolled instead of ran, I would have, would have survived that, but who knows, he might have got me on the next one. Oh, sorry guys. Oh, I feel like I'll let you down, but I feel like we'll, we'll get him on this one. I'm going to switch back to large arrows and feather arrows since I have enough, and I'm actually just going to run by all the enemies and hope I just make it this time. I don't have an ember for this attempt, so that kind of- or I do actually, I bought a couple from Patches, so I might just use those as a, as a healing item part way through, or if I take damage on the way there, I'll just pop those as a way to restore my health before the fight. I feel like because um, there's, there's still a lot of enemies, but they're still kind of like the same slow type, I mean the crossbowmen kind of suck, but these guys still take a while to stand up, and that's a spear guy, and they're not always vicious. Yeah, not too bad. I get hit in the animation, so. Alright, Gundir, let's do this thing. Hit you with some large arrows, and dodge that. I like how they kind of bait you in with this, like, yeah, he's just, it's just Gundir, right? And then you're like, oh yeah, Gundir's kind of tough. A little bit faster than normal, maybe. And then he's just like, roar, I'm actually a psycho. I'm actually crazy I'm trying to get him to attack here because if I just attack and he does that then he just ends up having the upper hand in the, the moment there yep he's just got me figured out I really have to only get my damage in when he's like recovering from an attack or something when he rolls I think that's when I'm gonna pop my ember I think that'll be the best time because then I can ensure that I'm actually going to be fighting him in the mode that I want to be fighting him in. Try and get as much damage as I can before then, of course. So he's probably going to do it like any second now. Yeah. 
Oh, not a good time to do it, though. He just kind of goes berserk right off the bat. Oh, and he got me. Okay. I might not actually have time to pop my ember in this in this kind of fight. I'm actually going to heal up instead. If I get a chance to pop it, I'll pop it. But All right, we're going to switch to the composite bow when I get a chance to here. My gosh, he's just like running me dry on stamina. All right, nope. Oh, I got him with the headshot though. Well, that did a lot of damage. I feel like because the composite bow is also a little bit faster of a shot, it might just be a, a better strategy in this in this fight. And quick shots, quick shots being absolutely critical. Oh, he got he has like a combo attack there. Are you serious? He does like a Mortal Kombat style, like, brutally beat down. Oh my gosh, he just about got me right there, right before my ember restored my health. That would have just sucked off, like, absolutely. Just gonna try to rely on rolling more a little bit here. Since that's how I can do that and get my damage in. Really just have to find those moments that He's like recovering from an attack and I'm finishing a roll. Like that one. Nope, that one wasn't fast enough. Dude. Oh, shoot. Alright, I have to go for damage here. I can't heal off of it. I have to be more offensive. He's gonna shield bash me? Nope. Or shoulder bash me as I was expecting him to do. Oh, going for that attack. Gotta watch out for that. It's so fast sometimes. Oh no, don't hit me with the shoulder slam. I'm just spamming that roll there. Glad I have my ember up, but it's just not enough all the time. Alright, got the large arrow shot. Didn't get that one. Jeez, this guy is just absolutely brutal. I can hit him with the rolling shot when he goes for that charge sometimes, which is nice. Gotta watch out for that shoulder slam. That's the attack that always got me when I was trying to beat him for the very first time. Going for oh yeah, got him with the headshot there. If I can get him when he goes for that swipe, it's not too bad. That's I think that's the one that always gets me that extra swipe there. Okay, and dodge away. I really feel like I should just heal on my next real opportunity to do so. Like right now maybe. Nope. I end up with less health than I started with. That was just a really bad move. Oh, and he's gonna combo kick me there. And try and finish me off with a jump. That's actually the best time. Oh, what? He got me with that? Are you serious? Oh, that's just... Oh, man. I didn't expect him to get me with that final move there. Okay, well, let's give this one more shot. I still feel like I can get this uh, without spending more than three attempts on it. I feel like I got this. I'm probably going to pop my ember as soon as I walk in, though, just because having that extra extra bit of health really is like a uh, safety net for like reels so we'll do that and I think we'll crush them I just got to remember to avoid uh, basically everything <laughs> especially that one knock up that he does a kick after because it's like that attack is worth way more damage than at first appears like if he just did the knock up not so bad but because he follows it up with the kick and then sets you up in a position where you're on the ground and can do things to you, it's like, that's that's what really gets you. Alright, so I'm going to go pop the ember. Make sure I get my souls, because there is quite a bit over there. Let's focus on that first, actually. Even though I'm feeling confident, I still want to make sure I don't lose my souls. Alright, so let's put some damage in them. It's not too bad in this phase. Again, it's just like just like a, a amped up regular gun deer. He does a lot more walking towards you, and then he kind of just like wakes up and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm really mad." It's like I wonder if I should just like try, oh, uh, luring him to like one side of the arena to the other, like really get him up in here, and then just like run. And I don't know if that'll work against this second mode. I don't think it'll work at all, actually, because as you can see, he just took a few steps across this arena and put his halberd in my face. I really just have to uh, figure out how to better tactfully avoid his attacks and sneak my damage in when I can. 
He's really a timing boss. Like, his timings are just awkward enough to make rolling and stuff, like, a little bit awkward with fighting him. And his timings and sweeps and everything. And I think his attacks can be mixed so well that he comes across more of a, a real fight than a lot of actual bosses and NPCs and players. That's the only attack I know that I can consistently get damage in on him. I have to watch for that one. That one's okay. He does a second sweep. Oh, no, that's the one I could have got damage in on, actually. Dodge that. Go for a heal. It's okay if I get hit. Still gain a little bit of HP. Alright, so we didn't get hit by a flying rock that time, which is what killed us last time. That was the attack I could get damage in on. I need to watch out for it. It's just hard for me to see all the time. Sorry, I'm kind of losing my ability to commentate. This fight is actually, like, just really intense. That's the one. Hey, I'm just trying to focus on getting that one. I'm actually going to switch to the composite bow for sure, because that was the same attack. If I wasn't switching bows, I would have been able to capitalize. Make sure we avoid that. Basically, want to avoid anything aside from the one where he sweeps over from his left. It's the only attack that I want to see right there oh I screwed it up though I need to be faster about it oh oh what I don't know what happened to my character there I, I think she started to stand up instead of rolling oh and that's my last ember okay I don't know what to do <laughs> that's my last ember I was just about to say we'll just get it on the next attempt but that puts me in a lot a lot worse of a spot for this fight that jump attack should be the easiest attack for me to deal with though honestly I feel uh, pretty bad that that's the one that's gotten me twice in a row now. But no point in feeling bad. Just gotta try again. Mash that roll button because I feel like I haven't been mashing it. I want to have more of a control over it when I'm fighting a guy like this where I feel like the timing is more precise. But I feel like that's what's costing me in those situations that like my character was standing up and just decided not to roll because maybe I didn't put it, uh, the input in at the right time or something like that. So, let's just uh, try again, and hope it goes better. I gotta remember those running shots too. That's probably gonna be my best friend uh, against some of these some of these moments. Kind of forgot about the running shots. Those are probably the fastest way for me to sneak damage in, because then I could just run away from them and be like, "Boom, damage, damage happened." And this one fires much faster too. Gotta be careful not to do a running shot when I don't mean to, though. I suppose, though, if I'm, if I'm running and then I press the button, as long as it doesn't put me in a position where I'm gonna run into some damage or something like that, it's not actually that bad of a thing. Yes, it feels much smoother. Arrows fly much faster. Quite a bit less damage, but that's honestly a trade-off I'm willing to make for this fight. I can just work them down, like, this early phase is really really quite easy. I mean, it's just Gundir, so we just keep beating him up, but when he decides to go super mode, uh, except when you run out of stamina, that's my true weakness is my stamina management. Alright, and my timings on a lot of things. Okay, getting him down. Might go for a follow-up. Nope, he's just really mad now. Okay, I had to break out of that animation or I would have been locked in and just got comboed for sure. Alright, so let's keep using the runaway strategy, try and dodge at the right time, get shots in where I can, oh, dodge that wrong, make sure I get way out of the way of that, because that keeps killing me. Oh, gotta turn a little bit before I do that. Okay, that's the one that he does that off of. I can be a little bit more aggressive with that one if I see that attack. But ultimately, it's just be aware and dodge things. That's the most uh, critical rule, I think. That was not a good moment. I don't know what that was. Never seen that stomp before. Alright. That wasn't the one he charges off. Maybe it is, but he just decided not to. Got my heal in. Okay, let's be very careful here. Not run off the edge or anything crazy like that. That's fine. I feel like he's being more tame this time. Could be wrong. 
help him help him right though. It's like ah, just as I say that he hits me with it. You know when I dodge the first time, like I always seem to. Oh, this is bad. Ah, sorry guys. This is just uh, hard for me a little bit. He does a lot of stuff I have to pay attention to. And, like if I try and dodge his first punch, then I seem to be able to dodge the shoulder slam. But if I don't dodge it, then I can't seem to predict the shoulder slam. Oh my gosh. Saw that coming. Please don't kill me. Can I get a heal? Got a heal. I would have liked to double chug, but take what I can get. Because it's not always a lot. You jerk. You dodged it. Oh, that was the one I could do more damage on. So hard for me to see that one coming. Alright, so let's get a heal. Because I'm just going to take damage, but that's okay. That was the one he could have comboed me on. Can I just heal here? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm feeling a little bit more confident. A little bit more able to fight this guy. Yeah, it's just that. Let's see. Okay. I'm just really trying to wait for my opportunities here. Oh, glad I dodged the second part of it, but I'm starting to lose my edge on really not sure what happened there. I somehow got hit by something I didn't expect to get hit by and it just completely threw me off. I got hit in a weird direction. Now my kiting's backwards. Oh, this is not good. Okay, we're gonna try and fix that here. Try and heal. Please don't hit me. He did hit me because it has that long sweep. Super long range. Oh man, we were good on Estus for like a minute. Now we're, now we're not good on Estus anymore. Probably gonna follow up with another charge. No, I actually managed to get a heal in there. Okay. Get an attack here, maybe. Got one attack. All right, that's the first time I've hit him in a while, so that's uh, that's positive. Got to remain positive, right? That was the one I could have. I need to learn what the uh, wind up for that is, so I can figure out the. Oh man, he has so many combos. Sometimes he just keeps going. It's like you gotta just really know when he's attackable. Oh, yep. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm just running around in circles. I think I'm going to have to just cut it here and uh, come back to it when, when I have him down. Like, when I got him really low and all. I'll just see you there, because I'm just throwing my face at this, and it's working, but I just keep making too many mistakes. I just keep flying through my asses for no good reason. So, I'm going to just keep running at it, keep trying it, and uh, I'll be see you guys when, when I have him in the danger zone. Alright guys, I just uh, dealt a nasty headshot to Gundir here, and he is at like nil health, so hopefully his attack will kill him. Oh my gosh, what a fight. I didn't really mean to get him down so quickly <laughs> and uh, not show you guys most of the fight, but he just ended up getting a couple headshots in a row and just tanked, so took me two more attempts, I think, and uh, yeah. What a fight. Holy smokes. That guy is just brutal. He just keeps coming at you. I just had to just figure out how to just keep running away. So Champion Gundir is also in the same as a Cemetery of Ash. Okay. So that's uh, that was Champion Gundir. And that was ridiculous. Holy smokes. And what's this item? Black Knight Glaive? Well, that seems pretty awesome. Probably use that in the future. Anyways, uh, I think we're about out of time for this episode. So I think we're going to have to explore whatever's beyond this door next time. Hopefully it's not another boss, because that was just crazy. Even if it's another boss, that's actually not too bad, because I'll be a little more refreshed. <laughs> this, this boss fight was just grueling and very uh, intense. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Next time we'll continue on, and I think we're getting pretty close to finishing off this whole series. So hope you've enjoyed it so far, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.